Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and as you know this is my HIV journey. I want to make a quick video. Um, <laughs> I was talking to a friend this week. Um, many of you know him, uh, Robert from Paws I Am, and I texted him and I said, you know, does it ever seem as if HIV is the most simple part of your life? And he responded, and, and what I meant by that, you know, with HIV, we know where we stand. Um, HIV has a job, and, and our job as patients, our job as um, people living with HIV is to prevent uh, HIV from succeeding. But sometimes it seems as if that's the simplest relationship that we have. That's the simplest thing that we have. Um, you know, in the perfect world, in the most perfect world, I would be able to, you know, have a job working with HIV and AIDS, um, something I'm very passionate and love. But for whatever reason, whether it is the politics of, um, of nonprofit work or whatever the case is, I can't and I don't. And there are others like me. You know, we're fighting this this war of HIV and AIDS and we spend countless hours a day, a week, a month doing something because we want to help others and we want to change the face of this thing. So in some ways it's very disheartening, it's very challenging, it's it's very frustrating. And you know, we keep we keep keep on keeping on. Um, as my friend uh, Darnay would say, you know, you got to fake it till you make it. One of these days, um, I'll be able to get a job within the HIV AIDS uh, arena. Until then, I'll just keep faking it till I make it. Um, doing speaking gigs and, and obviously this channel because I know that it helps people. I don't know. I, I just needed to vent a little bit. Um, and I think sometimes it's healthy to get the frustration out. It's been one of those days it's been a shitty day, and um, you know I, I just put a quote on my Facebook, and I I would like each one of you to remember that you know be kind to others because you truly don't know what they're going through, and they can have a big smile on their face, but underneath they're not happy, and they're they don't necessarily have things to smile about. Through this last year, I've had ups and I've had downs, and you know, whether it's dealing with drug addiction or, you know, hell, at some points even contemplating suicide. But the one thing that kept me kind of together was knowing that I could tell my story and help others. So. That's what I'll keep doing. Anyway, I hope you guys are well. Um, keep your heads up high and uh, be kind to each other. Until my next video, do something positive.